Hi, so for a while now actually, I've been thinking about heating and of course summer's on the way. You think about heating in the winter, don't you? But I've been thinking about it for a while and I don't know if you've had much experience with these things. It's a, a blender. If you put your stuff in there and stick that to blend, of course it'll blend it. But if you blend it for a while, it's like five minutes or so, it'll actually also cook it. It gets really, really hot. Now this is a high shear blender. It's just the, the normal thing you buy in the store. And it will impart energy to the liquid and heat the liquid if it's moving rapidly enough. And it's based very much on Frenet heaters. And so I was thinking about Frenet heaters and made a couple of those a while ago. But this got me thinking. Now this is a, it's a domestic piece of kit. If you want to buy a high shear blender, it's going to cost you something like £450. And there's a bit of a problem. I don't have £450, but I do have a lot of these. It's a NEMA stepper motor, actually, and I pick them up from things like printers and have quite a few lying around. Inside of these, actually, is really, really interesting. So let's have a look at the inside. And there it is at part. Actually, these things are beautifully made with extremely close tolerances. That's obviously the stator with its coils. Here's the rotor, and it's toothed. And right there and there, you can see two ring neodymium magnets and the end caps. Now, what I want to do is remove these magnets, and that means drifting it out, which is basically hit it with a hammer. But be careful not to mushroom that end over. So put a block of wood, whack it with a hammer. <laughs> So here's the rotor back together, I just drifted it back on minus its bearings and here is the centrepiece with the coil missing. Now those are incredibly tight tolerances actually which is really cool because that's what we're looking for. So they'll go in there and you can see how tight those tolerances are. Now then, we've got these channels down here, we need to join those channels to the outside. So obviously what we do is get something that'll show up and mark where those channels are. We mark where those channels are. Bolt these end plates back together to stop this spreading and drill a load of little holes along those marks. Okay, so I've drilled out the body and found some extra long bolts and I can stuff those bolts in there and then one of the caps gets bolted on. And that's it bolted together. Now, these bits need filling to just below that level there so that the only entrance is through the slot and the only exit is through that hole. There's lots of ways to fill that. You could fill it with a bit of hot glue if you like, you could use some resin if you like, or you could weld it shut. It's it together in the drill. Now, I chose to make an aluminium plate to cover all those holes. The idea here is the liquid gets sucked up in there and because we've got all those little teeth on this rotor, it gets caught between the teeth of the rotor and the inside of the stator, thrown to the edge, ground around a little bit, and then forced out of these holes at the side. Now, we should be able to run this at 10,000 RPM. I mean, I'm not going to, I've got it on a drill, do about 700. But that's what that ran at when it began with, and I haven't really screwed everything up. I should be able to run this at 10,000 RPM, which is what makes it a high shear. Now, all I'm going to do is test that it actually mixes. So I've got some titanium dioxide. We'll add some water. Mix her in and get it going. <laughs> okay, that was awesome actually. That did a really good job. It's mixed it really well. The thing about high shear mixers is you can make graphene with them, is one thing you can do. I'm really interested in getting this up to speed so that we can see if it can become a heater. So that's what I'm going to do with it next. But I wanted to test whether we could turn that stepper motor into a high shear mixer. It looks like we can. So there's 450 quid saved. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.